Hi, I'm Mendes Petrovsky here, creator of the local trade copper. And in this video, I want to show you how to copy trades between uh, MetaTrade accounts and specifically be able to set different risk options for each of the instruments you are copying. So in this case, uh, I have my master account right over there. And I will set this uh, uh, server EA on the chart. Just the default settings, nothing fancy. The only thing I will change is the color of the of the dashboard so that it will be easier to see that this orange is our server. And also I have th three um, three currency pairs open, like euro dollar, dollar yen, and pound dollar. So I will trade different lot sizes for those three instruments. So euro dollar will be trading one fixed lot size. Dollar yen will be trading half of the uh, lot size, which is 0.5. And pound dollar will be trading one micro lot, which is 0.01. So I want to copy um, um, I want to copy these trades and I want to set my setup, uh, kind of my local trade copper on the client account uh, right over there in a specific way so that it doesn't matter what lot sizes I have on my, on my master account. I want to be able to set different uh, lot sizes for each of them. So not that I would use different, you know, not even I will use different lot sizes on the master account, but I will set them to be completely different again on the client account. So uh, I'm trying to rebuild a scenario that if you have a master account, uh, like logged in with the investor password and you don't have any control of the lot sizes, uh, then how are you going to copy and change them in your client account? So, okay, first we start with the euro dollar pair and uh, I will go and launch the client EA. Pretty much all the settings will stay the same. The only thing I will do is to change three parameters. So that will be magic number, which must be different for each of the EAs. So I will just set, you know, make it easy, like one, two, three for each of the EAs. Uh, the next thing, I will set will be the risk parameters. So for example, for this, uh, for Euro dollar, I want to make uh, the same lot size as on the master account. Like, let's say I'm comfortable with that. So I will, uh, I will set lot multiplier to one, which will make all the uh, lot sizes exact the same on the client EA as it appears on the master account. And now I need to scroll down and find this parameter called trade pairs. Here it is. And this is where I will enter that I wanted to follow only euro dollar trades. Now I click OK. And now I have my first client TA loaded. OK, so next I will open the next pair, which will be dollar yen. But I'm opening dollar yen specifically because um, I want to see like trades on on the chart. But actually, it doesn't matter what type of chart that is. It could be any chart. Uh, it doesn't matter the symbol. But it will be easier to understand uh, during this presentation. So I will run the second instance of client EA on the second chart. So I will give it magic number two. Then I go to trade pairs. And I will enter that it will follow only dollar yen pair. And then I go to my risk options and I'm going to enable fixed lot size of 13 mini lots. It will be easier to remember that way. So that's 0.13 and I click OK and the second client EA is loaded. You can see server read starts growing. It means uh, a client EA started working. Now I open a third chart, which will be pound dollar. And I attach the client EA once again. I give it magic number of three. Go to trade pairs. I enter that it should follow only GBP USD. 
And then I go back to my risk options. And for this particular um, instance, I will set that I want lot sizes to be 0.26. So it will be easier to remember as well. Okay, click, click OK. And my third client EA is now loaded. And now I can run some test trades. So I go to my master account. And first let's try dollar yen. So I execute the full lot size. So I click buy. And I go back to my client account. And I see that the euro dollar pair has been copied. And now I can see that it's a full lot size as well as on the master account. And that's exactly uh, because, uh, let me just get to the euro dollar here. Here we go. So the client account on euro dollar is set to use the, uh, the exact same lot size, like lot multiplier of one, if you remember. Let me, get, uh, let me maybe just open the settings windows. It will be easier to see. Here we go. So as you can remember, we set the lot multiplier of one. So it's always is the same lot size as on the master account. Now, the other two client TAs ha have this green question mark, which means that there was a, um, a trade ignored and it ignored the trade for the specific reason that it follows only euro, uh, sorry, dollar yen pairs, and this one's follow only pound dollar uh, trades. So basically, only this client TA copied our trades. So if I go back to the uh, master account and I run the next trade on the dollar yen, which will be a half of the lot size and I go back to the client TA, I see that it was copied as a fixed lot size 0.13. So now my do, uh, euro dollar client TA have the trade ignored, which was dollar yen, because it's not supposed to copy those trades, so it ignored it, and it gives me this red question mark to indicate it. If I go to the dollar yen client TA, I will see the trade is there, so obviously I see it in the trades list as well. Um, and now it particularly has 0.13 lot size, and we can see we have set fixed lot size of 0.13 there. Now let's go to the pound dollar, and it, on the master account I open the pound dollar trade of 0.01, um, which is micro lot. I go back to my client TA and I see that I copied the trade as 0.26, which was uh, exactly how I set it to do. So we can see it's 0.26 fixed lot size for pound dollar. So as you can see, there is a way to follow the trades and have like different parameters, you know. So obviously I can have any other settings uh, and those will be applied just to my dollar uh, pound dollar pair so let's say i want to um i want to use a where is that like stop loss pips for example i will set that it should be like 20 pips i click ok and it will and it will change the stop loss on the pound dollar yet uh, you can see the stop loss became smaller now even if i remove the stop loss from the pound dollar pair like i set this to zero on the master account the take profit is removed but stop loss is still 20 pips because i set it to override the uh, the original stop loss. So basically you can have any settings in there and they will be applied only to the pound dollar pair. Now a few uh, limitations when you're using this uh, copying mode. Because you have to enter magic number, uh, a unique magic number for each client TA instance so that it wouldn't conflict with other uh, client TAs on the same account. Uh, it means that magic number is no longer set to zero, obviously, and this disables the partial close option, and this also disables 
uh, a trade comment. So trade comment, if I show the trade comments, we can see there's a number there. And a number there, uh, this number means that this trade is linked to this particular master account trade, which ends at age 99. If we go to the master account, we can see there's a trade at 899. So obviously, if I close the trade that ends in the, you know, with this particular trade number, it will be closed as well on the client TA. And this is how client TA detects, like uh, identifies which parent master trade it belongs to. So if we apply partial close, let's do partial close like of 1.4, click close. So as you can see, the, the reminder of dollar yen, like 0.1 mini lot, uh, is left running on the master account. But on the client account, it was closed completely because partial close is disabled when you run uh, this client TA with magic number above zero. So so basically, if you're applying this partial, uh, sorry, this copying mode, there will be no uh, custom trade comment allowed and partial close disabled. So those are basically two limitations that you should know about. But if you don't need any of these, you can use this copy mode with no other problems, basically. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.